Welcome to Entonal Sessions. Today I'm going to show you how to use contact with Entonal Studio and make contact microtonal really easily and be able to switch between different scales and tunings, see how they sound. So I'm in Ableton 11 here and I'm going to be using the Entonal Studio instrument plugin. So here I'm going to drag it into an empty MIDI track. There it is. And in order to make room for contact to appear inside it, I'm going to drag the window and make it a bit bigger. And I've already got contact as one of my plugins. If you don't if you can't see contact, you need to go to manage plugins first. Search for contact. And load it. So here I've got the VST version of contact. So I'm loading contact. First thing I'm going to do in contact is set up my rack. I'm choosing this crystal pad sound. So I'm going to double click on that and you'll see MIDI channel one. So I minimize that and I'm going to add another four to make a total of five and this will give me five note polyphony. So just to show you what contact does automatically, it assigns each one a new MIDI channel. So number two is MIDI channel two and then number five is MIDI channel five. Another thing that we need to check with the instrument we've loaded is the pitch bend range because that's what we're going to use to to do some live tuning of the instrument. So here is the pitch pitch bend range area of the instrument and let's just check that is going up to 12 and it's defaulted to 12 so all the rack instances will be at 12 up and down. So we're going to leave them there and we're going to make a note of that. So now our contact is ready, we're going to close it. Now in internal studio, we're going to change from the default MPE retuner type to multi-channel. Then we're going to put that number 12 that we found in contact here into the pitch bend range. And we're going to set the start channel to one as it is by default. And the end channel is going to be five because we've only got five instances. So now when we're playing our instrument, we should see the notes being split across five instances. So if I play another simultaneous note, you can see that's on the second, third, so you can see those five notes that I've played are spread out across the five instances. This also allows us now to try some different scales out and hear how they sound. Have fun with contact and internal studio.